Welcome to Prog Rock Digital. Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Prog Rock Digital. This is episode one of season four, the very first of 2023. Now today I'm chatting with Roy Khan from the band Conception. I did have Roy on the podcast earlier last year. He's back again today. We're talking very general things, so uh, interesting things and, you know, band stuff. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Roy Khan, welcome to Prog Rock Digital Welcome back, I should say. How are you, man? Thanks. Uh, yeah, thanks for asking. I'm doing doing fine. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, um, raining right now. We don't like that during winter, but uh, except for the except for the weather, it's it's I'm I'm doing fine. The last time we spoke, you had just come off a run of of, of three shows. Uh, how is the uh, how is the tour going, and and how many shows are remaining? On this yeah, uh, we uh, we did a few of the shows that we um, had lined up. Uh, like I mentioned last time, we we set up a small tour that was supposed to happen in 2020, and we postponed it three times. But we did a couple of the shows, uh, or three of them, in 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 uh, 2022. Mm-hmm. Uh, went really well, uh, and uh, and now we're preparing for the for the rest of them starting 11th of march so how do you go about uh preparing for your tour or for a tour or, or even a batch of shows having members in in different parts of 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 you know in different countries surely is a is a challenge when it comes to preparation would i be right in saying that yeah i mean you you, you pretty much prepare the same way of whether you're doing one show or, or several, like, I mean, if you're doing just one show, you still have to sound decent, right? So you should, you need to prepare equal amount, uh, you know, uh, regardless of how many shows you have. But, uh, um, I mean, the, 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 we, we, we've been pretty much just, you know, uh, when, when you rehearse yourself up, it's all, all about just maintaining, you know, the the... The voice, uh, so I just you know I sing a couple of couple of times every week and and just keep it there. Mm. But I mean, you need that. You need that. You need that uh, maintenance. I know you like to work out, as you stated last time, and remain and, and stay relatively healthy. Can I ask what is your sleep routine like on tour, uh, and how important <laughs> is is yeah. sleep? And and yeah. Can you feel sometimes when you've had lack of sleep the ramifications? I'm, I'm I'm very lucky in the sense that even if I I mean I normally I sleep pretty well, but but you know occasionally I I have a night where you know I don't know, it could be any reason really, but for some reason I, I haven't slept the amount that I'd like to, right? Mm. Uh, but I'm I'm blessed with uh, the the capability, let's say, to 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 Switch like off. you know yeah i mean it's it's but i i would get it back you know a couple of days later i would yeah. all of a sudden i mean I'll, I'll be doing fine like during the show next day even uh but maybe the day after that or or three days later i'll, I'll just be completely bummed out and, mm-hmm. and feel this extreme urge to just lay down and sleep uh so i, I need to what and, and of course these things uh change uh, the older you get so, uh, but, but, you know, um, I can, but I mean, nor, nor, normally, I mean, the, the, the perfect thing is, you know, getting the right amount of sleep, like eight, eight hours, at least if I sleep eight hours, I'm, I'm, I'm good, but you know, sometimes four or five, I can, I can manage that. Have you, have you always maintained a fairly, you know, continuous sleep pattern, if you like, even in the early days, the early conception and also Camelot sort of days, or, mm-hmm. I mean, you did just state that, um, you know, you're getting a little, I won't use, you know, for a better word, older, if you like. Uh-huh. So obviously yeah. things change, but, you know, how has that differed from, say, you know, 
15, 20 years back? Um, I mean, I, I, think, tend think, to, yeah. I, I, I tend to go to bed, you know, at, at you know, earlier than, than in the past. Uh, and more than anything, I, I pretty much get up at the same point every morning. Like okay. I get up at 7, 7.30. Yeah, that's the most important thing to me for, for me to get up at the you know, uh, regardless of whether it's weekend or or you know I, I just get up in the morning. Uh, even if I go to bed late, I, I still get up at about the same time. Uh, I don't know that 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 works for me. Um, and uh, uh, but I mean obviously, but back in the day, yeah, I loved staying up at night and 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 I would really be more creative uh at least that's the way i felt um you know during during night night evenings and, and nighttime but i can't really do that any longer I, I don't i don't really you know i don't have that urge to stay up at night and and, and work let's put it that way contrary quite, quite, quite contrary I, I like to get up in the morning like really early before everybody else is up and and, and you know enjoy that silence before before the rest of society is up you know maybe like five o'clock in the morning I don't, i'm not saying that i do that often but uh, occasionally i do that and that that's really that somehow gives me the same feeling that i had uh, uh working late at night back in the day so can i ask in terms of the set list and if you like the you know show composition does that uh, change uh, are you in the process of of you know changing um the set list moving forward or do you have a standard templated set list that you know conception fans uh you know embrace and 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 just just mm -hmm. yeah. and i guess where i'm coming with that is there are bands that have you know their their standard templated songs that are you know 100% requirements when it comes to mm -hmm. playing uh, mm -hmm. shows is that the conception mentality or you know do you veer off from that uh, we, we have a certain we, we have certain songs that we not only feel we have to play but we we want to play them ourselves uh, um because i mean it, it turns out that most of the songs that we like the most they are also the songs that 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 fans like the most mm. Uh, but we also uh, we are changing the set slightly from 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 what we did last year. So there's going to be some some new songs that we didn't play uh, in 2022. If if that if that was what you were asking. yes yes of course yes yes I yeah I, look I just wanted to see how flexible you you are or you know the band is with regards to you know mixing and, and matching yeah. songs and changing things but the, 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 the thing is well i mean we haven't really been able to to tour the new new material yet like mm. like we came out with the ep in in, in uh uh um 2018 19 yeah uh, and then the and then the 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 full album came out just the, the year after and and uh and that you know the pandemic has been 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 ruling the world since then. So so we haven't really been able to go out there and pre present these new songs. So so that's another thing. Like like a lot of the material that we're bringing on road this time is is going to be from the new albums. Obviously, since we haven't been able to you know uh, 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 present it to people, um, and uh, and uh, uh, but I mean we're we're talking about doing older songs too like it, it'd be great fun to to go out there and just do you know uh yeah i mean maybe only songs that we haven't played in the past but that that's the kind of thing you do when you're if you're touring heavily and you're you're sort of you want to you know you want to go out there and do something more for for the fans but, yeah. but i mean since we haven't really played these songs even for them yet you know that that, mm. that, that that's not really part of the equation yet I've also, well, I've noticed you've, you've, and and speaking of of that, I mean, you've you've re-released your your back catalogue on vinyl. I guess mm -hmm. from the last time we spoke. Can I ask from a from a legal perspective, mm -hmm. you know, were there any challenges? You know, obviously with labels controlling masters and so on. You know, how did that pan out? And you know, I guess how does it feel seeing all of your your back catalogue now on on vinyl? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I mean, the the, the all, all of these all these recordings are owned by BMG. So so uh, and that was the case. That that's been the case the, the, the whole time, at least since I don't know, like, yeah, I mean, fifteen years back or something, twenty years. Uh, uh, so 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 the the the, the reason I mean, if if it was up to us only, we we, we would have released it like a long time ago. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, uh, that that's been part of the uh, stuff we've been working on since twenty eighteen. Uh, with our manager uh, to, to to get these albums out there again. Since we're active again, you know, it makes a lot of sense both for them and for us to have the the back catalog available again. So uh, and, and eventually last year that that's we we, we had a breakthrough and we uh, we managed to to um, uh, get a deal together that all parties were happy with. So so. Um, yeah, it was great to see the 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 old, old albums on, on on vinyl again. Wish they were, you know, uh, uh, when they were first released too. But now with with uh, uh, two three bonus tracks on each mm. album, and and uh, yeah, the the special vinyl, the vinyl itself is colored, and uh, it was cool, really cool. I still love, I, I still miss those days, you know, when we had. Vinyl and, and and you know opening a getting a album was was a thing you know like these days kids they just you know download the song here and the song there and uh, uh, but I still like that that hole that a album with a certain amount of songs makes. Speaking of kids, I was I was going to ask, have you shown the kids the the uh, yeah the vinyl concept? Do they understand <laughs> the difference between? You know, because as you said, a lot of kids now don't and haven't fully embraced, um, you know, vinyl or, or even cassettes, obviously. I know that my children, when they see my vinyl connect, uh, collection, they're, they're, they're dumbfounded. They're, well, Dad, what is this? I mean, why, <laughs> you know, you know, and it's very hard for me to sit there and, and actually articulate the reasons why I just absolutely adore vinyl. Mm-hmm. I guess it's just another phase or a, a, a re-phase of, of, you know, packaging. But, uh, yeah, I mean, children and, and your children, I mean, how have they they questioned, Dad, what is this? Have you shown them? Have you gone here? This is uh-huh. a, something that I released, you know, 15 years ago, you know, 20, uh-huh. 20 years well, ago. The, the funny thing is, uh, uh, at least in Norway right now, that, that whole thing has... has completely uh so so uh for christmas and, and their birthdays uh, uh we have a couple of nieces and they they actually uh uh wanted vinyls for for, for their uh, as presents that, that was on their wish list so uh and we're like you sure yeah that's like that's the new thing uh i i i don't know how long it's gonna last if, if it's just like a a, a nice. um yeah but um <laughs> At least, at least, I, I, I'm ho- kind of hoping that you know that it's gonna um, be a, uh, uh, that 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 it creates a, a um, passion for 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 you know physical product that that mm. that's gonna uh, last at least with with a certain amount of people so that you know it, it could be a stable thing you know that that they can. Uh, expect to, to 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 be able to produce and sell a certain amount of, of vinyl samples uh, from a production. That that'd be great. I think that's a really you know cool tradition to to hold on to. Um, not tradition, but the, a cool product to 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 you know hold on to. Mm. At least, like I said, it gives me good vibes. But you know, maybe it's just me, but. Uh, I really think that, that, but but then you see the, you see all these other. I mean, you also see uh, uh, the MC, the cassettes. Uh, yes, coming also, back. Yes, yes. Yeah, and and and, and I actually read re- recently that CDs are coming back. Like, <laughs> uh, so you never know. The, the the world is a is a weird place. Things happen place. so fast these yes. days, and uh, <laughs> yeah. How? Nothing amazes me no longer. No, no. <laughs> I was going to ask you this now. I mean, how do you feel with with various musicians, either be it you know professional, semi-professional, amateur, 
recording and I guess covering conception songs or in your case also you know mm. Camelot songs from from the era that you were in the band how does that how does that feel I mean I I know that I forwarded you a link of something that I found on on YouTube and so forth mm-hmm. is that a humbling feeling or is that more of a uh, you know, uh, okay, maybe this may keep me or the band on our toes a little bit with regards no, no, to... No, it's, it's, it's great. It's great. Yeah. I, 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 love, I mean, uh, the, 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 the quality definitely differs, you know, yeah. between this, uh, these different uh, covers. But, but I think, uh, like, generally, I, I really think that, that, that uh, the fact that somebody finds my or, or our material you know worthy of a uh a cover version you know that it's awesome and some of them are really good so i don't know that's that's really cool love it and it's always cool to hear how other people interpret you know sometimes they make a version that is uh you know slightly different like they they they, they approach the whole whole thing differently and 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 it turns out i heard songs that that, that i you know here in a completely new way uh when when it's um when it's re-recorded with with somebody else so that's mm-hmm. awesome a demo or if you like a, a cover version can either make or break an upcoming band or musician obviously they they choose their songs and their their the music and they would have to choose some some fairly good music uh to put forward mm-hmm. how about yourself when you were recording demos and when you were recording mm. cover songs what songs mm. were propelling you and moving you in a direction what what types of songs uh are songs that, that have made roy khan and have made conception from a from a covers perspective mm. Well, the thing is, we, 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 um, Conception never really did any covers, and and uh, I didn't really do any covers myself either. I did I, I, what I did do. I, I did play in a top forty band, like a year before I uh, uh, the year before I joined Conception. <laughs> uh, so so you know I had. <laughs> I mean I wouldn't. Uh, uh, I mean we pretty much played whatever people wanted to hear, and and it's not like I'm super proud of everything we did back then, but uh, it was a really nice um i think it was a really good uh learning arena uh yeah. as far as you know uh, uh, uh like being up there in front of people just getting used to to being on stage and and, and performing uh so uh but you know how, to to what extent the songs themselves uh uh formed me i i have no idea really we, we played so many different types of songs and styles that that is really hard to uh i i never did any covers of of metal bands for example so which was the the genre that i was listening to so mm-hmm. so uh that we we only did pop jazz uh you know fairly rocky stuff uh but you know, nothing even remotely close to, to metal. Wow. Okay. So obviously we have, you know, Dream Theater, um, you know, having a Rush influence and, and recording, you know, various Rush, you know, demos and and, and covers. I, I would oh, have okay. thought, I mean, I, I, I would have thought that, you know, Conception back then you would have, you know, dabbled with maybe some, you know, Jeff Tate, you know, Queensryche. Mm. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> um, nothing like that. I mean, it, it, even the first song that I recorded before I, I joined this this top 40 band, it, the, the first song that I recorded mm. was was a song that I made myself. So it's, it's like, yeah, I never really done, never really done covers for some reason. I mean, I think that's a really cool thing. I just never, I don't know really why. Uh, I I have done it now though. Like I've uh, I've uh, recorded some stuff that that is going to come out uh, uh, as a um, uh, it, it's a streaming live thing mm. that's going to be. But uh, uh, but those are uh, I think I met I think I talked about them last time too. 
uh, they're, they're, they're songs that are um, related to, to, to my formative years, both as a child and as a, as a, as a you know, youngster growing up. Uh, and and uh, yeah, well, you'll hear me, you, you'll hear more about that when it's when it's out. I'm still like doing the little finishing touch up on on on, on that project. So that obviously comes under the banner of, of Roy Khan, you know, solo project. Yes. 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 Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's sort of it's, it's it's not really part of the. It's, it's like a kickstart, you know, to just you know get going with it. But it, it's coming out with a. Uh, it, it's pretty elaborate. The, the thing we, you know, the way we set that whole thing up. So I just hope that we will be able to finish it soon now, because I've been talking about it for such a long time. And but I'm. I'm I just work so much that I, it's all about finding the balance. The, uh, when I have like the thing is when I have like two days off, I'm like you know I don't really want to fill those days with work too you know so it's 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 um yeah it'll 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 come out when it comes out yeah that's fair enough your solo stuff is very much piano driven at least to my ears anyway Mm -hmm. it sounds very relaxing and i know we spoke about religion last time or sorry we touched on religion last Mm -hmm. time is is that a a soothing thing for you just you know sitting in front of the piano writing composing and and you know just letting uh, your imagination just just you know i i i i make way more songs on guitar than i do on piano oh you're kidding so, oh okay uh, oh yeah <laughs> definitely definitely but they're not really i you know the thing is uh yeah i mean i i would say that the the guitar songs that i made uh, probably made three times as many guitar songs as as, as piano songs uh-huh. uh and sometimes also when i work with uh with 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 you know other musicians I will will you know I, I can also like uh suggest a certain riff or you know whatever I, I know enough about the guitar to to uh to at least think up you know <laughs> uh a, a cool riff but uh I can't necessarily play not at the level that that you know that we're at yes and uh but uh um there's something about the guitar that is uh, uh I also collect guitars I have a, uh, I have a few Gibson guitars. I don't, coll- I'm not like a very serious collector, but I have a, a small collection of Gibson guitars that I, that I really, uh, yeah, I, I just like them. So I, you, you know, so you procure those on the road, or are they, you know, purchases domestically within Norway, or uh, but both, both, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that something that started? Whilst you were on the road with Camelot, or even as far back as the early yeah, yeah, yeah. No, days? no, no, it started. It started, uh, you know, since I was in the U.S. Mm-hmm. quite often in connection with uh, with Camelot. You know, I, I the, the, so the first guitar that I bought was a was a Black Beauty uh, Gibson uh, Les Paul custom, and uh, and uh, yeah, I bought you know a few after that, and uh, I don't need them, but it's just a thing and I, I, I want about I want to have different kinds of, of, of Gibson guitars and I also always play them like I, I never buy a guitar uh, I, I have to sit and try it and play it if I don't like it I don't buy it so I have to it has to feel right in my in my hands now I I believe I didn't ask you this last time and I it's something that's that's been on my mind a while and that is tell me one of maybe a show or a concert that you've played at that stands out and and why does it stand out either be it uh you know obviously inception or, or even even in your, your camelot years but i guess okay first and foremost let's start off with with camelot uh, mm-hmm. and then we'll work our way to today what what would be a, a standout show for you um, and why? 
Well, it depends on what what you mean by standout. I mean, there, there's a couple of incidents. I mean, you, I mean, you tend to remember the 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 the, the bad stuff better than, than the good <laughs> stuff. So, I mean, and, and 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 seriously, like like I I'm pretty much super happy with with like ninety five percent of 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 you know the gigs I do. Yeah. Uh, it's it's it's, it's, it's going to have to be something really. Bad that has happened if 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 I, like I'm I'm really sick or mm. or back in the day I could you know occasionally I could actually get drunk and and, and really like just you know do a really bad show uh, based on that mm. or due, due to that uh, or um, I also had an incident in 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 um, I think it was in Spain where I uh, uh, I I was sitting in the shuttle on my way to the festival and and all of a sudden my my I really had problems with focusing my 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 eyes and during the gig you know that my, my vision like really parted so so you know i really saw two sets of people out there wow. and uh, after the gig i asked everybody like you know don't, don't, don't my eyes look weird and no, nobody saw it so uh i went to bed that night and i remember looking at a, a red indicator lab on my tv set that was on the wall mm. And I just, you know, uh, 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 um, said a little prayer that, you know, tomorrow when I wake up, please let that be one red light in the middle, because it was, you know, a little bit apart, right? Ah, right. Okay. Uh, and then gotcha. I remember that. In, I remember that in, when I woke up in the morning, and, yeah. I, and I just, you know, before I opened my eyes, I, I, you know, said, oh, please let that be one red light you know right in front of me and then i opened my eyes <laughs> and, and, and that red light was like it, it, my, my eyes were so crossed you can't even do it on purpose wow i ran to the bathroom and looked at myself and, and you know my, my 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 one eye was like almost hit behind my my nose bone mm. uh and then i called the other guys and uh and uh you know uh that they, they they quickly understood that that this was serious serious yeah yeah uh and in ter- i mean it could have been anything a stroke it could have been uh like a tumor i mean that, that's the first thing you think mm. and then i got to the hospital in norway um and uh, i was there for a couple of weeks until they found i mean the, the multiple sclerosis was, was an option uh but luckily it was a very um it was a very seldom uh syndrome called miller fisher syndrome mm-hmm. and uh, and it's a it's a it's a you know <laughs> relative to 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 uh multiple sclerosis and and uh those type of autoimmune diseases yes uh what what it did was it 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 it, it target uh, my own immune system was uh was um uh attacking nerve cells my, my eye nerves like the, oh. the, the 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 fat tissue around my 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 uh, eye nerves and that made my my eyes cross really bad mm. uh so so i was actually in the hospital for, for half a year uh during that so that's a, that's the only pre-production that we did in norway so so the pre-production for for the black halo was was done at my home because i couldn't really i, I wasn't allowed to to fly mm. Roy, what are your your final words for uh, your listeners and, if you like, your your fans uh, with regards to your tour? Uh, is there anything any mm-hmm. any final final words you you want to say and I guess just brief your your fans? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, like always, I want to thank everybody that 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 you know help us make this possible and. Uh, we have this tour coming up now. We have a deluxe box that is that is coming out. Um, it's going to be available in a month or so, and uh, you know, hopefully, people will keep supporting us and and uh, you know, just really, really looking forward to go come out there and and then you know, see people in a live setting. That's that's really uh, one of the things we uh, appreciate the most about doing this. 